Hi everyone, this is Robin with Desert Moon Bath and Body and I thought I would just do a little short tor tutorial on how to make whipped body butter cream. Um, the ingredients I'm using is shea butter, mango butter, um, you can add cocoa butter if you want but I'm out of it so I'm not going to, coconut oil, steric acid, emulsifying wax, distilled water, liquid glycerin, and you can add a preservative if you'd like. I'm going to because the customer um, ordered it with the preservative. So um, I'm going to start out with, I, I have all my butters pre-measured in a little container. I'm going to just warm those in the microwave. I have my distilled water. I'm going to warm it in the microwave. And then I have all my other ingredients pre-measured here just to make it a little quicker. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and warm these up and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm back. I mixed the oils. Um, I never completely melt them because the heat in the bucket will finish melting them. If there's little chunks, I just let it sit for a minute, stir it up. I ended up heating the water for like two minutes is all to get it nice and warm. Now I do use Structure XL. It's, it's an all natural, um, it helps so that the um, cream doesn't come out too oily. And you add this to the water phase um, of the recipe. And I add it, you can add it at 3 to 8 percent, and so I use about 5 percent to the water phase. So I'm just going to mix that in here real good first. It just really helps so that the, it, your cream, when you're using all these butters, doesn't leave a real oily feel. <laughs> We mix this, oh gosh, for till your blender starts getting hot, and then just give it a rest. A lot of people actually put it in the refrigerator in between mixes to speed up the process. See, look how wide it's already turned. It's almost a lotion already. That Structure XL does accelerate things a bit. and You've got to be careful. I've read not to add too much, so I hope I didn't add too much. When you see the butter start to thicken, that's when you add your preservative or not. Um, like I said, the customer wants it, so I'm going to give it a few more minutes and then I'm going to add the Germabin too. It doesn't take much. This is all I'm putting in. It's just a little tiny bit um, for this whole bucket of cream. I buy tongue blades. You can get them at any medical supply. They're great because you can just throw them away after. And they're wood. I don't know. I just like using them. Mm. See, it's already 
looking like a lotion. It's like at the lotion phase. Now the difference between lotions and creams is your lotions are water-based um, and your creams are mainly oil-based. And this actually pro has about half and half, I think, you know, so but by the time I get, a, get through whipping all the butter and everything, it really is more like a cream. <laughs> got a little more water. If anybody's interested in the recipe, just let me know and I'll be glad to share it with you. See, there it is. It's getting nice and thick. doing the mixing and then I'll be back when it's all thickened up so you can take a look. Okay, I'm back. I um, ended up putting it in the fridge just for like five minutes to thicken it up even more and oh boy, look at it. It turned out so good. It's nice and thick and smooth. From here, you can add your color, um, your fragrance. The lady that ordered some of this was is for her husband's really dry skin. And um, I've got a little right here on the blender. I'm going to just sample a little. Let's see how it feels. Oh yeah, feels really good and your skin just soaks it right up. So, um, like I said, if you want the recipe, let me know. It's, it's cheap to make, it's natural, it's, it's really moisture rich. And um, I'll show you what it looks like all packaged up in the jars when I get it ready to go. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, I'm back. I have the labels made. Um, they turned out pretty good. Really dresses it up when it's all done. I'll give you a look at the inside. Turned out really nice and thick. And, ooh, it smells so yummy. Um, so I have this all ready to go. I'm sure she's, or I should say he, is going to love it. Um, I also packaged up some little samples for some other customers. They're, it's a really neat little pump that holds about two ounces. I'll take the lid off and show you. Yeah, it's, it's perfect. And, and then I don't use, put a lot of money into the labeling of my samples. I just put a little, little one on there, big enough so they can see what's in it. And while I was at it today, I made some mud mask for another customer. Um, it turned out pretty nice, too. It's all sealed, um, <clears throat> or I'd show you what it looks like. That cream I made, you can also heat it just a little tiny bit to get it into bottles. For those who like the bottles, this is what it looks like. It, it, it's pretty thick, but you can get it out of here. A lot of people prefer this than dipping their hand into the jar. So, um, thank you all for watching. And like I said, if you're interested in the recipe, just go ahead and shoot me a message. Um, you can find these on www.desertmoonbathandbody.com. Come by for a visit. Thanks.